Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is me, LaDosha Rice, the author of Curly Hair Adventures and What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. And I'm also the founder of the Textures Intercultural Exchange 2019 to benefit the education of cosmetology in the Banjo Gambia. So this video, they're from my peeps in the Gambia. I'm coming to check you out. So let's get this video started today what is this video about wash and wear hair i've washed my hair i'm wearing it to go and everybody's blowing me up on social media what can i do to make my hair curly like yours so this video is to tell you the truth you can't make your hair curly like mine but you can make your hair curly like yours. Now, I don't have as much curl as some other people have because my texture is a little bit softer, but it's still a little damp. So as it dries, the bush is going to start to, you know, come out and play with us. And you're going to see, uh, yeah, she is, um, she got a little African, but you know, they've been in our, some of them slaves, some of them colonizers been in our camp too. That's number one. Number two, all Africans do not have this texture of hair. So one of the things that I'm always promoting in my books is that people who are of the same ethnic, ethnic background or the same race or whatever you want to call it, they do not have the same hair. Your hair is a genetic assignment. It's assigned to you in vitro. And if you don't believe me, just skip on over to Rick Kittles and Miss Page, Dr. Page, and you're going to go over to their website that um, is called AfricanAncestry.com and you can pay for your little DNA testing and your genetics and you'll find out a whole lot more and follow him and he is more versed and he's more educated than I and so he can tell you he and Dr. Page can tell you that the color of your skin which is this social ideology called race um, does not determine it may contribute okay you may notice people with the same hue may have but that's not enough to say it's definitive so on this this channel we are not promoting this whole black hair bull frack or pack or knackle because all black people do not have the same hair and when you wet your hair you're most certainly it's not going to turn out like this and this ain't the best curl but I don't care because it's mine okay so also I'd like to give a super duper shout out to the makers uh, the creators of the crown act so today I saw it on social media that California has passed a law it's pathetic it's just that pathetic that you can no longer discriminate a person if they decide to wear their hair like this because we don't care if you don't think it's cute damn it okay all right so here we go so in real life I have a real customer with me I'm gonna change the camera over to her and so this is um, lovely miss uh, Tierra and so this is her hair and so she saw my hair on social media and she said you know one of those it's funny that you would have your hair like that because you know what today I decided I do not want to do what to my hair anymore right. she said I'm not straightening my hair anymore I'm done with that and I said that's cool now a lot of times people will try to make you feel like straightening hair is bad weaves are bad wash and wear is bad natural is bad it's a choice okay so this is her choice and as her cosmetologist this is my job my job is not to do her hair my job is to teach her what she needs to do when she's not with me cuz she ain't trying to give me you trying to give me all your money She's not trying to give me all her damn money, okay? So I'm going to show her what she needs to do. So first things first, when it comes to promoting your, your natural curl pattern, one of the things that always comes up is that people will always ask, how can I make my hair curly? I'm like, you see the look on my face? Listen here, people. It's already curly, okay? Now, her pattern is totally different from mine. And so I know what you're saying, but she got all these stringy pieces and all this stuff. Chill out. Don't, you know, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be dropping knowledge all the time. I'm about to go over to Gambia. I'm writing their cosmetology curriculum from a cultural perspective. This is a culture. What we're doing right now for people who have curly hair, that's a culture. Women is a culture. Feminine is a culture. Culture means so many different things, okay? So we're going to get to all this stuff about why her hair doesn't look perfect to you, okay? That's your opinion. You're entitled to it. So number one, you cannot make curly hair curly. What you can do is show your curly hair, okay? So how do you show it? First things first, you need some water, baby. 
you gotta wet this stuff up. Now, the wetter the hair, the more you're gonna see the curl because the water is going to tame the fro. It has to be soaked and wet. So with that being said, this video, do not watch this video trying to make your hair like mine or like hers. That's what they don't tell you on YouTube. This video is for her. Now you can take these concepts of the right products, the right tools, and the right technique, which are outlined in my book, What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon, to apply it to your fabric. But don't watch this video and say, I want my hair to look like tiaras and ladocious, because it ain't gonna happen, people, so please, understand this okay i'm getting a little upset so again so the best place to do this is in the shower if you don't have a shower because i'm from the hood i grew up in the projects and we didn't have showers showers was like you know back in the day you must have been rich if you had a shower we had a tub and a sink so um if you still old school yes you can dunk your head over in the tub or you can go in the sink and you're gonna get this hair. When I say soaking wet, I'm talking about you want it dripping. That's why it has to be in the shower. All right, so now we're gonna take a little protein. So there are so many proteins on the market, it doesn't make any sense, all right? So now, we're gonna use a protein because this is what her hair is made out of. I like satin tame, and yes, I'll do like everybody else on YouTube, put the description in the link and all that other crazy stuff, okay? But satin tame is made by DECA. Now, I know people are big on, is it black owned? Do white people own it? Do Dominicans, oh, they don't wanna talk about Dominicans because they've been putting them on TV, they, you know how to cut that stuff out, okay? Um, you know, is it black on? Is it, you know, Puerto Rican on? Is it Asian on? You know, when it comes to hair care products, people, if it works, use it, okay? It doesn't matter who made it. Now, she's wiping, because she's dripping. So, why are we using a leave-in protein? Because that's what her hair is made out of, and I know what you guys are saying. Holy moly, guacamole, her curls are coming in. Yes, because that's what hair is. Protein, so you need protein. All this stuff about don't put protein in my hair because it make it hard. Listen, hair care products are like cars, you know what I'm saying? You got a hoopty and you got an Aston Martin, right? Both will get you downtown. The question is, how do you want to arrive? All right, so are you trying to get downtown to Aston Martin? Aston Martin, the, the uh, destination. Aston Martin products. So in my opinion, this brand by DECA, Satin Tang, there's DECA, is the Aston Martin of proteins because it's versatile, just like an Aston Martin. It's got the state-of-the-art ingredients. It's got nano, you know, particles in the hair care products. And we hear all these arguments. There's no such thing as nano technology in hair care. Crack an egg on your head and holla at me, okay? I promise you it ain't gonna happen. Okay, so that's the right products, remember? Next, you need the right tools. So you cannot use this type of comb. Okay, if you're using this comb on your head, I'm gonna pop you upside your head. Do not use this comb on your hair. Number one, I know it matches my shirt, but it's too wide. A comb is to your hair what a broom is to the floor, what a toothbrush is to your teeth. So I ask you, would you rake your teeth? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so no. So Afro hair, you want a long tooth comb. So if you have very long hair, or if you have like Afro hair like Miss Tierra, a long comb, because you have to comb this product through her hair. Now I'm trying to work as fast as I can because if this hair starts to sit, you are right. This Afro is going to take over. And why will this Afro start to expand? Because hair climatizes. It's just like your skin. If it's hot in here, like if I stand on this side, I'm gonna start to get greasy and look real black and knees, okay? I'm gonna be really shiny, you know what I'm saying? Be really, you know, just greasy. And that's what skin naturally does. As this dries, this afro is gonna start to poof. 
That's a natural something like a phenomenon. Okay, something like a phenomenon. Got a little L jumping off in here, okay? So we're going to comb this through. Now, don't let the tug scare you because it's got protein in it. And if you use protein and you go to comb it, guess what? No hair comes out. If you don't use protein and you start combing it, it's gonna come out. If you use a comb with the teeth are too short, it's gonna come out. These teeth are long, and so they can get through this hair without combing our hair out, all right? So now we're gonna go into the styling part, all right? So, now here's the other thing that comes up. Hold that for me. <laughs> what about the center? This is where my kuta is. This is where my can't just snatch it. This is from when I wore my weaves or my boyfriend was pulling on my hair last night and all this crazy stuff, okay? Now remember, this is Afro hair. So remember, right products, right tools, right technique, okay? So now, here is the right technique. Her hair is soaking wet. So the technique is you're going to have to section this hair. All right? Now you're doing this in the shower. Take these into the shower with you. Not your boyfriend, okay, or your girlfriend. Okay, take your clips with you. Take them in the shower after you get this done, all right? Okay, so now you got this on there, and guess what? Now it's starting to poof up, you see that? So if she was in the shower, she would just tilt her head back and let the shower hit it. But we're not in the shower, so we're just gonna wet it some more. Remember, it has to be soaked and soaked and soaked. And you see that water starting to drip, you guys see it? It's gotta be soaked and wet, okay? And now we're gonna comb that through. Because what we're trying to do is tame the fro. All right, you see it now? Now, I have my own favorite products. You know, they didn't pay me to do this, but they will someday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, my favorite product, I do have my own line of hair care products called the Right Hair Products, but it ain't about that, okay? It's about using the right as in W, I mean, oops, as in R, okay? My name is spelled wrong, but it's right, all right? All right, okay. So the right hair care products to me is Diva Curl, all right? I'm a big fan of the original One Condition. She has so many products that I can't even go there, but go to her page, Diva Curl, D-E-V-A, not D-I, Diva, Diva Curl, and we're gonna use this. Now, I use my own products in my hair. Right products, right technique. Rub it around like lotion. Start on the ends and work your way up. Now this video is for her hair, but these techniques you can use on your hair. You might use less. Now you could use gel if you like. Um, eco, some people are like, no, it's got endocrine disruptors. I'm not a doctor. So if you believe it has endocrine disruptors, then don't use it. I don't think they do, but I'm not a doctor. But if you like gel, it's okay. It's just going to make your hair hard. And some hairstyles, you do want to be hard. But she told me, I don't want hard hair. So somebody said, move the camera down. I want to see what them ends look like. Okay, all right, hold on. There she go. All right, see, there they go. She's curly, okay? Because I can see people now on YouTube, they don't play. We got some, you know, some head Nazis on these channels. Okay, all right, so let me turn you over some more. So now the product is white, so I know what you're thinking. I don't want that white stuff on my hair. When I get ready, don't worry. It's going to dry, and it's going to go away as the hair dries, all right? So, all right, next up, we're going to make another section. Now, you, you're in the shower, so you can use your hands, all right? So you need these clips, remember? Take your boo in the shower afterwards, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna section it and you gotta put some water. Now, we're improvising because we're not in the shower, okay? We're not in the shower. So it has to be wet. Right product. In this instance, the right product is water. The right tool is the long tooth comb and we're gonna comb this through. And this is how you take care of that center section. You see it now? So now I'm gonna add some more products. And that's about a nickel size amount. Rub it all over so you can get it through the hair. See how it's all on my hands? If you do this, it's just right there. You want to see these curls on the ends. Remember, right products, right tools, technique. Calm it through. 
Now this product all over your hands will allow you to glide through your hair without what? Promoting the fro. Because some people, like with my hair, it's not bushy yet. You don't see the bush. But I want to see the bush, but I wet it to show her something. So it's going to bush out. This, and this will take about, honestly, it's going to take about six hours to dry. So if you're going to do this and you want to see the bush, then do it the day before or earlier in the morning so that at night when you get ready to go to the concert, then your bush can pop out. But if not, so now I look like, a, like Michael Jackson, okay? <laughs> so I know, just, I don't want to look like that Jerry Curl. It's a process, people. Trust the process. Go with the flow. You know, get your little my on. You know, get your balance, okay? So it takes a minute, all right? So next up. More water, because we got to get this soaking wet. You got any questions for us? Yes, I do. She got some questions. Here we go. Questions. Here we go. What's the question? So after you do this process, how do you maintain it as you're going to bed? Okay, so this will be get down to the nitty gritty because now you want to make love. I knew that was coming up. Now you want to exercise, you know? Okay, so we're getting all this in here, all right? Making sure. Now I'm going to add some more to this. <clears throat> now I'm going less because I still got some on my hands. And I'm gonna put that there. Now we're gonna get to the baby hair, so just calm down. <laughs> All right, so now her hair is coated with the product. Now she can begin to style her hair. So if you're gonna do, you wanna part on it? Uh, yes. What size do you want your part? It doesn't matter. All right, so you're gonna style it while it's wet. We're gonna swing her part over to here. Now you're in the shower, remember. And let me pull this back just a little bit. Whoops. All right, so there we go. So now her hair is soaking wet and you guys can see all those pretty curls. Now she does have Afro and you can start to see it's starting to expand, which is what she wants. Then over here, she got Michael Jackson jumping off. Now I'm not showing her face because I don't want her coming back asking for no money. But it's video. You know how they do you now. I, I made your video famous. But I want to give you a profile of how we're going to do her baby hair. That's, you know, if you don't have baby hair, now that's a black thing. I'm sorry. I can't apologize for that. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a black thing. If you not, or people who have this kind of hair. So if your hair is straight, you know, and you don't have this texture, then you're probably not going to have that. So her question is, what is she to do with this at night? So now I'm gonna use myself as a model. All right, so here I am. So this is my hair. So at night when I go to bed, what I would do is, Okay, we'll use a clip. This is why you need a video set. Okay, here we go. So what I would do is I would take my hair and grab it all. Up, pull it all up. And what I would do is put this in a ponytail and tuck it down. Now, you want to tuck it down because you don't, when you, the afro hair, when you lay on it, it's friction and it's going to start to rub out in your sleep or into your pillows. So you can put a bonnet on top or you can just put a nice bun in it or somehow you want to pin it down so that, so that your ends do not rub out. I have color. My natural hair is white, all, pretty much all white. I have permanent color and then I have, you know, my highlights, my hair is lifted. There it is so you guys can see, okay? So I have to really take care of this even on a wash and wear. So there are, there's no such thing as carefree hair. Don't think that because Tierra is going to wear her hair like this that she doesn't have to do anything because she does. But it's just meant to be able to just wash it, put her products in it, and let it go. So in the shower, she would wet the hair, take her leave-in conditioner, 
and have her diva curl. This is another reason why I like the diva curl because it has the pump. And when you're in the shower and water is dripping all in your face, you ain't got time to be trying to squeeze up all them little bottles. And we have a lot of hair. Now, it may not be long, but Afro hair is very bushy. That's why they be calling us bush witches. <laughs> yeah, I know what y'all be calling us, okay? Um, because it gets bushy, but we like the bush. You like the bush? I love the bush. I love the bush. So, um, so this helps you tame the bush. Don't get into a fight with the bush because you're going to lose. I promise you, if you try to fight the afro, you will lose. Respect the bush and just spar with it. You know, get your Muhammad Ali on, float like a butterfly. Okay, so why can you do that? Technique. It's all about technique. It has nothing to do with race and your hair is bad. Your hair is not bad, you're treating it bad. Respect it by using the right products. Use products that are formulated. This product is formulated for wavy and curly hair, not black people, not ethnic people, not black and brown people, not LGBTQ people. It's just people, all people who have curly, wavy hair and they want to tame the bush, diva curl. If you say, well, I want it to be hard and crunchy because I'm about to get my Oak Town 357 on, then you go ahead on the rocks and gel, okay? If you say, well, I don't like any of that goo, you can use oils. Abyssinia oil is great. It draws moisture to the hair. So when you're wearing your hair heat-free, you want an oil that's that's not an anti-humectant, but a humectant. So these products, they're versatile. You can use it for washing, blow dryer, and silk press, but you can also use it for, you know, wash and wear. So Abyssinia oil is good. You know, grapeseed oil is good. Coconut oil, hail to the gnaw. Hail to the NAW shea butter, hail to the gnaw. <laughs> you know, cocoa butter, hail to the you know what? No, that stuff is too heavy and it's going to start to weigh on your hair. It's going to block the protein from being able to get into the second layer and keep that second layer fortified. Y'all know I think I'm a bootleg scientist. Bam, here it is. If you put that cocoa butter, that shea butter, that coconut oil, I'm talking about that big jar that you see on sale, you know, and uh, Fresh Time, and I just seen it in TJ Maxx. Now, TJ Maxx getting hip. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all don't be falling for the okie doke. So hold this for me. So if you put those heavy butters, remember they come out kind of hard. If you put that stuff on top, it's gonna coat the cuticle layer. The cuticle layer is responsible for why we can comb it. It's not because it's nappy and kinky. Those words came from the colonizers who did not understand, didn't care, wasn't trying. They were just trying to enslave us. So I know they are now terms of endearment, but it doesn't change the fact. Ain't nobody damn hair kinky, ain't nobody damn hair nappy. The cuticle is raised. So when you use those products on the hair, the cuticles will lift up and the hair will mat and become what they call kinky or nappy or difficult to manage. And then the second layer, that's your cortex. That's where the strength comes at. Now you can't get any protein. So when you spray this, which has the molecular weight that can go into this outer layer, which is your, 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 uh, your cuticle, and then penetrate and go to your second layer, that's where the strength is. So you need proteins that can do that. So all proteins are not created equal. So if you're buying stuff that is not, don't get into the cost, remember, Aston Martin, Hoopty. They will both do the same thing. The question is, how do you want to arrive? How do you want to get there? So what are Hoopty proteins? What are Aston Martin proteins? Aston Martin proteins are DECA. Aston Martin proteins are Philip Pelosi Daily Hair RX. Hoopty proteins would be like Infusium. Do I use Infusium? Hell yeah, I use Infusium. Because sometimes I don't have it. I can put out of money too just because I'm a salon don't mean that I always have money for the products. So we are not anti over-the-counter versus salon. Remember, hair care is about what? Hair care and hairstyling are about what? The right products, say it again. The right product, the right tools, the right technique. Bam, this is her video. So I know you guys are like, okay, shut up, let's see her hair, <laughs> all right? So here we go, we're gonna turn it and move it down. 
Let me move it back a, a little bit. Voila. Isn't that like some serious, serious, beautiful curls? There she is. Now the question is, there's her part on the side. I know what y'all want to know. What about the baby hair? <laughs> okay, so the baby hair goes like this. On Afro hair, you have a choice. You can either use a gel, or you can use uh, some of this sleekest stuff by Design Essentials. Shameless plug, I love Greg Gilmore of Design Essentials. Woo -woo. He hit me onto that. So if you like the sleekest pomades, you can use these. Or you can use the actual product itself. This is my product line, Ledoux. Not Ledoux, Ledoux. Okay. Now, it depends on how you want it to look. Now, I want my baby hair to look as natural as this. So then I would use the product that I use to style my hair, or I would use a gel. So Deeper Curl does make a gel. Um, so you could use a gel. Or if you just, most people got some, everybody got some, some kind of gel, okay? I would not use the sleek it on her because it's too greasy, all right? And when you put it on wet hair, it's going to pull it. All right, so now we're going to show you how we're going to do this. Now remember, right products, right tools, right technique. All right, new tool, okay? So here we go. Uh, let's see if we can... Get you down in there just. I think you're gonna touch your head over a little bit more. There we go. All right. So now we have her. So this is her, her baby hair or her hairline, okay? You must follow the natural growth patterns. So she has a world, meaning her hair grows in a centrifugal pattern, okay? You see some hairs go this way, some hair goes that way, some hair comes over. So remember, respect the fro, all right? So you're gonna paste, get the product on there nice and heavy, all right? And now you're gonna use your rat tail comb following the growth pattern. And the, you will know it's the right growth pattern because the hair will lay naturally. So we can see it's laying naturally. It's not meant to go back. See how it pulls back up? Now, you could do that, but what's going to happen? Go, go back up. Where my edge is at? Where my edge is at? That's why people don't have edges. It's not the product. It's the technique. So the hair is wet, so you have a nice natural slip on it. So it looks like I really pressed down and really made that really hard. But as you can see, it's really loose, you see? So I have a lot of gel on there. Now, I know it's going to be hard. And yes, it's a hairstyle. So we wanted to set, and we're gonna follow her natural growth pattern, and it'll stay through the night till she gets it wet. And we're gonna just style it up a little bit, and so voila, okay? Now some people have more baby hair, they like to do designs with it and you know, bring it on down. You can do whatever you like, you know, you can do whatever you like. What's up Tia, what's up Tiny, how y'all doing? How you doing Tiny? Tiny know about that baby hair, I don't know about Tia. All right, so there you have it. Some good old fashioned baby hair edges lay down. Any more questions? Yes. She has more questions. I'm back. Okay, what's your question? Um, do you continue with the same process daily? Do you do it every other day? Do you continue with this process daily? No, you don't want to get in the shower and wet your hair daily. If you do, the minerals that are in the hair care products, I mean in the water, they're going to, you know, build up on your hair just like they do on the faucet. So do not wet your hair every day. I promise you, if you do, you're going to feel like you got grits. I'm just telling the truth according to proof because I used to do that and my hair was so hard and the only way you can get that stuff off is with, you know, demineralizing products.
product. That's a whole other video, okay? So don't wet it every day. So what you're gonna do is put this in a bun, you go to sleep. You can put a bonnet on it if you want to. If you wanna put a do-rag on it, you can do that. But please, 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 people, put it in a ponytail. You can put four little, you know, uh, kizzy twist in there. Whatever you got to do, just don't you sleep on that afro because when you wake up, that hair is going to be so matted and you're going to be late for work, okay? So if your honey wanna pull your hair, just say, hey, you better pull this ponytail, okay? All right, okay, so now, you're gonna take this out. So this is my hair. So this is how my hair looks when I get up in the morning a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I have this product. So I would take this down and I would start to fluff it. Don't wet it. Now you can be in the shower because you want the moisture from the shower to do what? Loosen it up and start to reactivate the products. The products are reactivated with water, but the drawback is water will build up on the, the minerals in the water will build up on your hair. So take your leave-in conditioner with the protein. This is how I'm able to keep my curls. Everybody that's like, that's why I'm straightening out my hair. Because when I straighten out my hair, I lose my curls. And you see those stringy pieces up there? When you spray it, I'm just using myself, and you can see what's happening. It's starting to curl back up. The only reason why people are losing texture when they, you know, wash and wear or when they straighten their hair is because they're not using protein. They keep saying it's bad for your hair. This is protein, so you have to use protein. So put it in the ponytail, wake up in the morning, reactivate, and push your fro. Now when you start to wet it, as you can see, my Michael Jackson is coming back, okay? So it's going to be limp. It has to dry. Once it dries, then it'll bush. And the curls will start to come back. So see how it's, it's a little coated here. So I'm gonna spray this just so you guys can see. See how it's starting to curl? It's not the water, it's the protein helping my hair remember that it's supposed to be what? Curly, not black, not Negro, not colored girls, not naturalistas not natural hair movement that's bullshit people okay it's just people who have curly hair regardless of their ethnicity it's going to curl when the curls are not there the only reason why the curls are not there is because the protein bonds are broken from improper techniques and tools and products okay next question how often should you keep your hair in this style? You can keep your you hair in this style as long as you want to. All right, now this is water, okay? So in about three days, it's gonna start to smell like what? Mold. Mold and mildew. It's not just on mops, tennis shoes, and clothes that your kids have forgot to take out the laundry basket. I ain't said I know something about that, Ooh, okay? Mildew grows everywhere. It's a natural occurring, you know, uh, natural occurrence that takes place on all wet surfaces. So if you wet this hair and you keep doing this for about three days, or if you're like, I don't care what she's saying, hmm, I'm just gonna spray some water on it and I'm just gonna push it back and I'm just gonna go ahead on and put my clip on it because my baby hair is still laying down, it's gonna stink. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna be real funky, and then your sweetie pie gonna be like, oh, I want this little Dosha single. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, don't do that to your significant other. Hair smells really bad when it's not clean. It is not a black thing, and it's not okay to not to go for days and weeks without shampooing your hair, because the mildew has a bacteria that makes it smell funny, and you can't black that away. You can't say, oh, we black, <laughs> and we natural, and this is what we know you stink, okay? So wash this out in about four to five days. Wash it out, start all over again. Well, I'm going to use a lot of products. Be like L'Oreal. I'm worth it. <laughs> You're worth it. You can play around with different products. There are a lot of videos on YouTube, and I hope this one will be funny and witty, and you will like the questions, you will like the, the, the results of her hair. I'm gonna take some pictures and put them up so you can see what her hair looks like. Um, 
because I'm making this video by myself, all right? If you would like to be seen by me, you want to get a personal consultation, have your scalp analyzed, you can find me here at the Veris Design Team located in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. My telephone number is area code 216-321-1101. If you would like to donate to my Textures Intercultural Exchange 2019 um, to benefit the education of cosmetology in the Banjo Gambia. You can find it on my, another video here on YouTube at my GoFundMe page because your support, um, your financial support, and the, of course your like. So please hit the like button and subscribe and the little bell so when things come up you can find out what's going on. So you can help me take this type of education over to Gambia, and which by the way is the home of Kunta Kente, so I really don't like them Kunta Kente jokes about hair. I'm just saying. So please stop saying that. Kuta Kente had beautiful hair. It was not difficult to manage, okay? So Gambia is the home of Kuta Kente. We are going over there to do wonderful things. I am writing a curriculum that is culturally sound, that kind of goes with the flow of this. I'm not there to teach them how to do hair because they already know how to do it, okay? Do you have one more question for us? Um. No, I, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. All right, so this is Tiara's video, okay? Tiara, um, if they want to find out what you're doing, what's your organization? I'm Striving Scholar. She is a human being, and you can see her in real life if you go to Striving Scholars on Instagram, yes, correct? And so, Facebook. and Facebook, that's Striving, S T R I V I N G. Scholars and she takes donations as well. She's a true nonprofit organization and she is the founder of the Striving Scholars and she's also, you know, a recipient of her own personal video. So I know this video might have been really, really cool. What I suggest you do is to go to your cosmetologist and ask them to create your own personal video for your own hair so that when Tiara gets ready to, you know, have some more questions about her hair, she can come on YouTube and she can watch it and get all the answers. You can do the same thing. I am not the only cosmetologist who partners with their customers to give them what they want, okay? Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Share the video. And you know what we say? We're always signing out, right? A whole lot of peace, a whole lot of love, and definitely uh, more hair. And if you ain't got no hair, you know what you gotta do, right? Just rub your bald head, all right? Peace out. I have to get my little clicker. <laughs>